Hey loves, it's your girl Pink here and it is dark. I know, I get it, I'm sorry guys. It is midnight as a matter of fact and maybe even later than that. Um, I just got back home from Target. I was out on the late night pre at Target. And um, yeah, so I'm trying to be quiet because um, our bedroom is down the hall so my wife is asleep. And she works at the Pentagon, so she has to get up early in the morning and get in that early morning uh, Pentagon, everybody rushing around traffic. Meanwhile, I'll be sleeping in, so I'm trying to be a little bit mindful. Um, but I did have a request for a um, What's in My Speedy 30 bandolier. So um, this was the perfect time to do the video. You guys... It has been a tremendous um, effort relocating, okay, to move from Georgia to Virginia. So that was literally four states over. Um, so, yeah, guys, I am done unpacking. I'm so excited. I can't believe it. Now, my online boutique stuff is still packed. Um, I was just making sure I was recording. Okay. It's still packed, but that's fine because I, um, honestly have put my store on vacation hold. So I needed that break. Um, so yeah, I'll go through that stuff in 2020. And I don't know if you guys know or not. I don't know if I shared it with you all, but I do have a nine to five. I work from home and on top of that, I have a spiritual business that I know I've never shared with you all. But um, I'm a spiritualist, so I do spiritual healings. I do all kind of stuff, guys. So that is for another channel, which I'm going to set up. For those of you who are interested, you can follow me there. All right, so back to my bag. So I did have a subscriber to request me share with you all how I'm carrying this one. And then I had another subscriber to ask me to do a collection video. And sorry I don't have your name stalls, but um, I just want you guys to know that I am going to do, as promised, um, the collection and the what's in my bag. So this is how I'm carrying my Speedy 30. And I know it's dark, but I'm sure you guys can see the difference in the patina here versus the handles. That's because when I first got the bag, I did go to Amazon and I got those little scarves that look like the Louis Vuitton bandos and I had different colors and patterns and it didn't matter. It looked cute to me and it was summertime because I got this bag for Mother's Day. Yep, I got this for Mother's Day earlier this year. So beginning of 2019, I got this and um, I loved it. It was perfect. Like I just had different colors going on in both places and it was just giving me life then I ordered this and this is pretty much how I've been wearing it just hanging from there I kind of sort of like using it in other bags but I really like it hanging from here and I can just grab my earbuds out of there and I always get cheap earbuds because when I used to buy like beats and stuff they would always mess up and I don't know if it's because I keep them tangled up inside of my key pouch or what but so I just have a pair of cheap five below earbuds in there I had some from Target and I think those messed up so it's just getting cheaper and cheaper, basically. And my initials still look good. But I will say this about this bag. Every single time I pull this bag out, it never fails. It rains. It actually didn't rain today when I pulled this bag out to switch into it. But guess what? Now they're calling for snow. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm just, I don't even know what to say. But I keep my lock on the zipper um, and remind and. You know, this is the bag with a strap on it, so it has two zippers. So I just keep it on on um, one of the zippers. This one is closer to my right. Um, and I think, I don't know why I chose that one, but I just keep it on there. I've never taken it off. Um, the straps, let's see. I have some ugly, nasty stain that I got on here. There it is. I don't even know what that is and where it came from. That's why I try not to put like shea butter and stuff on when I'm wearing this because it's just horrible. Um, you know, it's it's leather, so it just it soaks up colors and 
stuff like that. And I did treat this bag when I first got it. I did treat it um, with the um, Apple Leather Care, but it still looks like, you know, like I have rain spots all over it. And it's probably hard to see because it's because I have the lights on the dimmer. Um, but yeah, and then I just have this little clip that I have. I just keep it just on the back. All right, so it's a black hole, guys, and it's the thirty, and it's just full, and it's still it still has space. It's not super heavy, and that's perfect. I didn't want my bag to be weighed down. All right, so guys, I haven't taken the tags off because. I just, I'm so addicted to my, my, um, Emily wallet. It's the only wallet that I have from Louis Vuitton, other than this now, that I haven't taken the tags off, but I got this one from Fashion File. So if you don't, so they, it has this remove the tag on the back. And so I've just been hesitating, even though my wife was like, just keep it. It was 400 and something dollars. She was like, just keep it. Okay, take the tag off, keep it. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. Um, I really liked it because it had like the tribal ethnic um look to it, and that's how they sold it. It's the Sarah Totem Monogram Totem Wallet. All of these buttons have Louis Vuitton on it. Anything tribal, I try to get. Um, when it comes to luxury, I have another tribal piece. Um, that actually has like my spiritual um, deities um, symbols all over them. So I like this. I love this. The only thing I have inside of here is a $5 bill that I found on the floor. And this was, I forgot where we were. But uh, we were at Nordstrom Rack actually, yep. Yeah, and I found that. So that's in there. So I'm going to take those off soon and then switch into that. Um, and then in the back, back here, in the back pocket, I have my Gucci key holder and I have my Georgia license and some credit, um, some debit cards in here. Oh, my debit cards, bank cards. Other than that, and I say Georgia license because I have to switch over to Virginia and I want to do it. But I felt the same way about Tennessee when I moved to Georgia. So I'm just stuck. Just set in my ways. Just old fashioned. All right. So then I have the keys to my lock in here. I've never taken them out. I have the textile little tag. Never took it out. So even when I switch bags, I just keep that stuff in here. What's this? Oh, then I have the key fob to my wife's Jeep. All right, so that's everything in the back pocket. And people complain about that pocket, but I feel like this pocket, see, with my key holder in it. I feel like this pocket is the bomb. I mean, it's perfect for the things I want to reach in. Sometimes I'll keep like mints in there. All right, then down in the front, I have my mini pochette, which is my favorite little piece, but I just don't like using it because it doesn't fit my phone. So there's nothing I can really do with this other than use it as a catch-all, which I really feel like is such a waste. You know, this thing was almost $400. I had to hunt it down. It was just sheer luck that I got this one. Then when they did send me one, they sent it to my old address. It was just a whole, a whole heck of an ordeal to get this. And the only reason I really wanted it was because it has the gold chain on it. So I think it's cute and it's perfect for, you know, those who can just downsize to something that's small when they're shopping or when they go and do stuff with. That's not me. So it's cute and all, but it just it's just really kind of sometimes I just feel like I want to sell it because I don't use it and I love to use my items. But then I'm like, I will never probably get my hands on one again. So I just keep it. All right, then I have my Carolina Herrera key holder, um, and I just keep that attached to the D-ring, and it just has my car fob. 
in there. My eyeglasses, Tiffany and Co. And I got these from Poshmark. So, um, uh -oh. and they have the little bows on the side. These were like, and it's blue on the inside. These were like maybe a hundred dollars. So and then I had to purchase the case separately. I think I got the case. Uh oh, shoot! I'm dropping my glasses. Give me one second. Oh. Then I got the case um, from from Tradesy. So, um, so yeah. So you literally can get, you know, luxury items or name brand items on a budget depending on how you shop and i hope i didn't just moon y'all because i have on some low-rise jeans and um i've been on my weight loss kick and all but i'm still not in a position to be mooning nobody so but um but you dolls it is so late so i really 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 apologize i apologize about the lighting again hopefully you all can see what i'm pulling out just this little brush. I don't know where I got this from. Maybe Target or something like that. But um, I needed a brush for my my wig. So I got that. And I love the feeling when I put hair on. Since I've been wearing my locks for so many years. And it just I just feel like, I feel, you know, I don't know. I just feel good. And I'll be 40 in six weeks. Countdown. So I just feel, I think I feel younger or I don't know. I feel like I'm walking through this threshold. Where am I at on time? Good. 12 minutes. I feel more vibrant, more grounded, more astute, more of a woman now that I'm about to be 40. But... At the same time, I feel this youthfulness. It's so weird. Anybody over 40 that understands what I'm saying or that can relate. I know this video is about this bag, but girl, that threshold is popping. And number one. And number two, it just it feels good to be able to switch up your look as a woman, you know. And I tell this to my daughter all the time, you know, do things to... Um, accent your natural beauty and um, do what feels good so that's what I'm doing right now and um, as you all know I like to splurge on my handbags I love to purchase other items like for my home and stuff on a budget even my handbags on a budget too if I can if not hell just buy it new you know I mean you only live one life so um, with all that being said I just feel so good crossing that threshold let me just go ahead and get back to the bag i'm gonna have to do another video on that but almost done so other than that i have my baby my makeup bag this is my baby so i'll show you guys what this looks like because i know people always want to know what things look like later so it has like scuffs from the inside of my bag and this side is a little bit darker than that I don't expect much to pop off with that patina because it's always inside of the bag. But um, I do see wear around the zipper. It may not come off on the camera because of the lighting. And then it, it's like some pink lipstick or pink um, lip liner that got inside of here. And I just wiped it down when it came out. But like I said in my YSL video, I don't baby this um, baby any of my stuff. So... Oh, that's my YSL receipt. I'm like, what is that? I need to take this out of here because this is how how stuff that you can't get off will get on your bag. So, yes, yeah, so I'm not concerned about everyday little wear, makeup wear. That's what a makeup bag is supposed to have. It's makeup. All right, and I'm almost done. Um, let's see. Is this the last item? No. So this is the next to the last item though. Um, I have a Basqua notebook. Um, Jean-Michael Basqua is um, a graphic artist that ran in circles with Andy Warhol and 
all of the other legendary historic artists from um, that specific genre, that specific era, which was like, what, the 60s, I want to say? Yeah, probably going into the 70s. But I studied all of these artists when I took like art history and stuff in school. Fell in love with them. And um, this was... He was the artist who Jay-Z bought that. I think it was a $150 million portrait from, but, um, and we live near a hospital, so y'all hear the ambulance and fire department and all that while I'm filming. It's because we live, literally, we are, we may as well be in the hospital, y'all. So, um, that's my notebook. So, I want to start doing more videos, so I'm writing down ideas and topics. So that's what I got that for. But um, we got that from the African American Museum in D.C. across from like the Capitol building and all that. And that's what I do love about living in Virginia and being stationed in the Pentagon area. Um, well, my wife is stationed at the Pentagon. But I love this whole area because it's so historical. There's so much to do. Even when I get off work at night, I get off work at 8 o'clock. Again, I work from home. But I get off work at 8 o'clock and I can still leave the house, go shopping, do stuff. Everything is open. All of the big stores are still there. Alright guys, and this is my last item. This is my last item. Um, it is the Cure Gummy Pouch in the large size. And this one is the one with the Rose Ballerine interior. I have another unboxing for y'all. I know everybody like, yo, you just buying all these bags. But y'all, I literally have had these things on my list for a long time. And I just never bought them. And my wife was fussing at me. She was like, why don't you get what you want? And I'm like, yeah, I try to get a second hand. So I literally went through this thing where I sold all of my second hand bags except for two. Um, and I... I just got new bags, and so she told me to do it, and I did it, and again, I'm about to be 40, you know, you got to live your life, dolls, if it's something that you won't save up for it, you know, if it's some other stuff that you don't love, and you have, sell those things, take that money, and get what you do want, you know, just my opinion, but um, the Cure Gummy Pouch looks like this on the inside, and I want to get my initials in green, like my nails my nails on this hand so i wear press-ons now i don't go to the nail shop anymore so this hand is not coming off like i needed to and i'm trying to switch up my nails for the erica badu concert this weekend so i'm just trying to get to this level over here so i'm gonna try hopefully by friday what's what's not finished is just gonna have to go with me but anyway so i want the green i think that's gonna look really cute right here the pink and green all right, but in the Cure Gummy Pouch, I just have my multi-cart couple of receipts from Target and my EpiPen, which the doctors told me I don't need anymore. And I went to a holistic doctor, and she did her magic on me, and I no longer need an EpiPen, but it's just still in here. All right, and then the last thing I have inside of there is this bag of gemstones or natural stones or crystals minerals rocks whatever you want to call them I, i'm gonna take them out one by one because they won't come out like i want look at this it's so cute this is my favorite this is so pretty guys i know you guys are like what the hell but it is so gorgeous i love them i i don't go anywhere without them for the past few not few for the past 10 years okay i always keep one on me and I keep them in my bag too and it just keeps my energy going look at this this is amazing this is beautiful this is nature is just outstanding look at that nature is the best artist there is so, okay, guys, so that's my little spiel, my little Easter speech about my crystals, but I hope you guys enjoyed. So I'm going to try to do, I will do an unboxing Thursday when I get my bag from Louis Vuitton. It is a 
never full mm yeah and um and send i'm so excited and i get another pouch um so super excited about that but i'm gonna do an unboxing for you all when i get that and then i'm gonna also share with you all my collection as requested and when i do the video i'll mention your name um to the subscriber that asked so sorry i don't remember um your name i wrote down the um in the my, my basketball book that i want to do the collection video so i'm going to go back and then i'll um thank you so much in that video when i post it but you all i love you thank you for subscribing thanks for watching thanks for commenting and always supporting my channel um i hope everyone is having a beautiful holiday season and if you have other requests for me, let me know, and I'll be glad to go ahead and update. Thank you so much for watching, dolls. Peace and namaste.